Now we know the theory, we can go ahead, jump right into our program, and just start implementing it. First thing I'm going to do is just uh, create a quad. Uh, that's going to be, yeah, that's going to be, I'm going to rename it as Canvas. Kind of what it's going to be doing. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and create our script. So if you folder, just call it scripts. New script inside it. Um, there we go. It's just going to be called uh, Texture Painter. Go ahead and open that up. Okay. Yeah. So as, as you remember, we've got um we've got our we're going to be creating our texture first, and we're really going to want to know um we're going to want to know how wide and how high it is. I'm going to make sure that we're unable to give it like a negative or a zero width and height. So I'm just going to get a range between uh, let's say one and one twenty eight. And I'm just going to call, give this a public, uh, public uh, int. We'll just call that texture width. And give it a default value as well, maybe 116. 160, give it 116, 16 <laughs> range. Um, same, with the, same with the height, 128, uh, 1 and 128, public int. Uh, we'll give it texture height. Texture height equals 16. And of course, we're also going to be wanting to choose what colors we're setting it as. So I'm going to go ahead and create a, a public uh, color. And you just call that our foreground color, you know, the color that we'll be actually stroking with, you know, um, foreground color. Uh, by default, I'll give that a color of uh, green, of color dot green. And we'll, of course, we'll also want our, our background color, the color we fill with, you know color, uh, background, color, equals color, dot, uh, maybe yellow. All right, now the other, po uh, the other global variable we're going to want is uh, a texture. So we go texture 2D. The difference between a texture and a texture 2D is texture 2D allows us to edit the actual pixels of it. So texture 2D, uh, let's call it texture. All right, now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create our new texture. So we can go ahead and create a new function, void uh, create texture. Texture. All right, now we just go, go ahead and set our texture to uh, a new texture 2D. Oopsie daisy, new texture 2D. And it's going to want us to give a, a width and a height, right? And they're going to be, that's going to be our public, our public variables up top, texture width and texture height. Uh, the, the one thing we're going to want to do is, by default, uh, textures like to be soft and like, you know, oh, you get close to it, you can't see the pixels, it will come nice, nice and blurry. But we don't want that. We want to actually, we want to see every pixel that we're, that we're doing as a little like a, you know, Microsoft Paint block, at, at least for now, at least to really understand what's going on. So we go ahead and set our, uh, what's called a filter mode. Filter mode equals filter mode mode dot, I think by, by default it's bilinear, but we want it to be point. Alright, now, um, last thing we've got to do, remember we've got the renderer on this game object, and we want to set the materials uh, texture of that renderer. Okay, so, yeah, so we've got our game object. A <laughs> game object has a mesh renderer on it, that mesh renderer has a material on it, and that material draws the texture. Okay, so we'll go ahead and get component, get component, uh, uh, mesh renderer uh, dot material um, uh, dot set texture. All right, and now the name we've got to get this right. It's underscore capital M A I N because this is actually the this is actually sending it to the materials shader out of interest. So this shader has a special a special property called main text. Make sure we call it that, and we're just going to pass in our texture to that. All right, and yeah, that's that's how we that's how we create our texture. So make sure we call that on start, uh, create texture, and we can also go ahead and test that. Make sure that that's that's uh, that's working nicely. I'm gonna I'm gonna move my um, move my main camera a little bit closer so I can see what's going on. Uh, zero on the y axis bit frozen, it's alright, zero on the y-axis, 
and uh, maybe negative one on the Z axis, nice and big. And now on our canvas, make sure we set our texture, our texture painting, texture painter script onto our canvas. Go ahead and press play. It won't change the color or anything. It will give it a slightly different hue, I think, because we're kind of giving, yeah, there we go. Kind of like a, giving it a, a, a new texture, which is setting it to some different default value to, um, uh, to you know, a different, different value to the default anyway. Okay, so we got, so we got that, that first part's working nicely. Now we can go ahead and create our fill function. Uh, void fill. And that's all, all that's going to take in is our color. All right, now what we're going to want to do is we want to get, get all the pixels from our texture, change them all, then set them back. Okay, so we say uh, var, actually I'll, I'll, I'll just be explicit, color uh, pixels uh, equals texture dot get pixels. All right, now that's going to give us, you notice it's a one dimensional array. Out of interest, that just tends to be how, how images store pixels in a one dimension. It could be two dimensional, you know, like, like this, this many pixels are, uh, uh, in the width and this many pixels in the height, but this is just how, how it tends to be done. And for this purpose, it really doesn't make a difference anyway. So we say for uh, int i equals zero, i is less than pixels dot uh, length, and then i plus plus, oopsie daisy. Okay, now what we really want to do in this, uh, in this uh, for loop is just for every pixel, set it to our color that's being passed in. So pixel, um, pixels uh, i equals uh, color. All right, and now, now that we've set this, uh, this pixels array, now we just need to, now we've gotten the pixels from the texture, we want to give them back and then let our texture know that that pixels array has changed. Okay, so there's two, there's two functions here. Okay, the first one is um, uh, texture dot set pixels, all right, and just pass in pixels. All right, and then the next function is really important. It won't change otherwise. Texture dot apply. So let's let's the texture know, hey, something different's happened. You got to make sure you you know update yourself. You know. Okay, and that's our fill function. So when we start, we can go ahead and fill uh, with our background color. Might as, well, might as well test that out, make sure it's all working nicely. In theory, we're gonna get a, a good old yellow sheet when it loads. All right, perfect. Okay, so now we can go ahead uh, back into our script and make our, uh, our stroke. Okay, now there's, remember there's three functions um, we gotta create. Um, first of all, I'm going to create the helper function, right? This is going to be the, um, the one that converts UV coordinates uh, to, to pixel coordinates. Okay, so it's, uh, it's going to return a vector to integer, right? Because pixel coordinates are integers, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Uh, and UV coordinates, it's going to take in uh, a UV coordinates which are from 0 to 1, which will be a, just a regular vector 2. So vector to integer is what we're returning. Oopsie daisy, uh, let's see, vector to integer, okay, uh, uv to pixel coords. Uh, vector to in, and that vector to is just gonna be called uv. Okay, now, how we get our x, if you remember from the from our theory video, uh, of, uh, we could call it an int, int x, int x equals, uh, it's a math function, mathf.floor to int, all right, we take in uv.x, uv.x, multiplied by texture width, all right, and now we go int, same thing with the y, or pretty much the same thing, int y equals mathf.floor to int, uh, uv.y uh, multiplied by texture height. All right, and now we can just return a new vector to integer uh, with our x and our y values. All right, so now that's our, <coughs> excuse me, I don't want to cough in my, <coughs> that wasn't too loud. Anyway, uh, we were, that's, our, that's our helper function, right? Um, we also got to create our stroke function. I'm kind of making these in reverse, you know, like kind of a, um, uh, get, get get the functionality bits out, and then and then we'll, then we'll do then we'll do what happens every update. Anyway, um, it'll make sense once we put it all together. Okay, so 
uh, our stroke function is not going to return anything. Uh, instead, it's just going to it's going to look quite similar to our quite similar to our fill function, except we're only going to change a single pixel at this point. Maybe maybe we'll make it more interesting later, but for now we just want to know which pixel we're going to change, which will be a vector two int for the pixel coordinates, pixel coords, and also we want to know coords, and also we want to know the color. All right, so all we got to do here is we say uh, uh, texture dot set pixel uh, pixel uh, pixel chords dot x pixel chords dot y yeah pixel chords dot x pixel chords dot y and we're going to set it to our color all right and then remember whenever we change whenever we change something on our on our um, on our texture we've got to hit apply. So texture dot apply. Okay, now that's our stroke function. All right, so the next one is our what happens when we know the mouse has been clicked. Um, so this is the this is where we do the ray cast from the screen to the to the point on the texture, right? So the mouse ha we know the mouse has been clicked. So let's cast a ray from the screen to a point on the to a point on the on the mesh, and then it's going to give us those UV coordinates. Which we're then going to convert to texture coordinates, and from there we can make our make a, change the color of that texture coordinate. Um, of, yeah, yeah, of, of that pixel. Okay, void on. Um, oh no, I'll call it actually while mouse uh, pressed. Make it nice and explicit. We don't need to pass in anything. Um, what we are going to need is we're going to need a ray. So I think it's ray. Uh, yeah, ray equals. Uh, uh, what is it? Uh, camera dot main. So from the main camera dot screen point to ray. So from from wherever the camera is in the direction of wherever you're wherever you pressed out into the out into the world. Um, and we're also going to want to know where on the screen you pressed. Okay. So whereabouts on the screen was it? It was input uh, dot mouse position. Um, if anyone knows why input mouse position is a vector three, I'm very curious. But but it is. It, I don't know. Maybe it's pressure. But mice don't have pressure. I don't know. Anyway, fun little tidbit. Okay. So next bit is uh, we need to create our hit info variable. Um, uh, Raycast hit hit info. Um, I won't go too much. Oh yeah yeah. Anyway, so this is just kind of how raycasts work. Anyway, so it's like. Uh, uh, it's a variable, right? Uh, it's a boolean rather. If physics dot raycast, we're asking, did you hit a mesh? If you did, uh, if did you hit a mesh with our ray? If you did, I want you to pass out all the information to our hit info variable. Okay. Um, yeah, maybe I'll put, I'll, I'll put the I'll put the documentation for documentation document. <laughs> Documentation for raycast hits in the in the description anyway. Okay, so now we need to know our pixel coordinates. So that hit info is going to contain the UV of wherever we hit on the mesh, and we're going to want to uh, convert that to pixel coordinates, All right? So we go var uh, pixel coords equals uh, hit uh, no equals uh, UV to pixel coords, and we're going to pass into it uh, hit info dot text coord uh, just inf info dot text coord. Okay. Okay, that's going to give us our pixel coordinates. Now we can just call stroke from that. So we go stroke. All right, stroke uh, uh, pixel uh, coords and um, foreground. Remember, we stroke with the foreground color. Foreground color. Okay. And that is everything we need to do for the while mouse press. Now let's go down to our update function. I'm going to go ahead and move that to the top of the script. It's a bit easier to read. Personal personal preference. All right, so now we say if input uh, in the mouse if we if if there's a click, so we say if input uh, oopsie daisy if input dot get key uh, uh, key code dot mouse zero. All right, if that's true, then let's go ahead and call our while mouse pressed function. Okay. If the mouse is pressed, then call the while mouse press function. Kind of, yeah, that kind of makes sense. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and see how that's kind of working. Let me 
sure if it's loading or not. Yeah, no, play mode. All right, here we go. Okay. Get a yellow, and then there we go. So we got ourselves the the basics of a painting app. Yeah. Okay. So that, yeah, so that's really nice. I'm. I'm. That's not. That's not a good. Let's see. If I can draw something. You know. At least do something. Um. All right. Let's see. What do we got? Restart it. We could make the right button do the. Anyway, I'll, I'll go. I'll go into. I'll go into the possibilities. Uh, what we could do later. Let's see. I do a little boat. Maybe. Sailboat. Sweet. All right. Too easy.